Welcome back, everyone, to episode 14 of the U.S. series. So, the first thing we're going to do is keep getting hit with um, warmongering. So, the only thing that could be is there's other units that are deployed that I haven't returned yet. All right, so I think I got them all. So, <clears throat> this episode, we're going to try to help U.S. citizens more. Um, we need to get that inflation down. So, we're going to drop the interest rate by 25 basis points. We are also going to invest in more fuel. So we have the oil, we have the supply. And we're producing more than our demand. But we're not doing the same for fuel. So the fuel should actually help um, bring down the inflation if we increase our supply. So we're going to increase our subsidy to 25 billion. And the other thing that affects inflation is the food. Um, we're going to need to increase our food supply as well. So vegetables, we are going to increase the subsidy to 10 billion. And coffee, we can make a lot off of that. Um, I'm going to increase that to four billion. All right, and industry when they increase the water networks so I'm going to increase that by 2 billion all right so they don't like the fact that producing more fuel and I'm not going to even pay them any mind demonstrators are marching in several cities all over the country as we speak they intend to express their strong opposition to the government's policies as some of their banners slogans and leaflets testify All right, let's take a look at the paper. All right. Um, let's try 
trying to get rid of the uh, dilapidated housing. So we're going to rehabilitate 100,000 homes. And let's let's go with building about fifty thousand homes. Alright, so we're going to have to increase taxes a little bit. So for the wealthy, we're going to raise that up to 1%. We're going to make this... I'm going to make this budget 2025. All right, inheritance tax, we're going to drop that by 2%. Um, tax on salt and animal fats, we're going to Increase that to one point nine percent. So we have seventy two percent approval or yeah, roughly seventy two. Tax on industrial production. We're gonna see what we can do with this. Alright, so Democrats like that. Um, we're going to increase the uh, adult in industry to 50%. And that got bipartisan approval. Alright, so this roughly has 83% approval. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't care about this at all. So our budget surplus is at 2.9%. 91%, I believe. Um... One percent unemployment is too strong. Undeniably, you have inside you the founding values of society. One week before the beginning of the festival, the hotels are full of bursting. Photographers and... Right. All right, crime falling, but still high. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is a very good figure. Our economy is dynamic. Right, so we're almost at five percent growth. Um, that's actually too high, but being that it's early in the year, I'm not going to worry about it. Our infiltrated that. agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation, a sort of Bulgarian opening, if you'll allow me the analogy, that, according to my calculations, would produce a two-figure dynamic impact, superior in absolute index to the harmful potential of a failure. Do you wish for us to proceed with this operation? Yeah, we'll take our chances and 
see what Here happens. is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. All right, so what else do we need to do to try to help our own economy? All right, so let's look at our biggest competitor or enemy. All right, so our economy is actually doing a lot better than theirs, with the exception of inflation. They have better inflation rate than we do. Um, unemployment's at five percent, almost six percent. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation, a sort of. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go to pharmaceuticals. I'm going to implement our first industrial embargo. Um, going to do sanctions on pharmaceutical exports. All right, let's watch the liftoff. So it looks like another successful launch. All right, we increased happiness. All right, let's go to industry again. Um. All right, I know what I want to look at is electronic components. So investing 2.5 billion raised it from 6.7% to 11.3%. So we're going to double that investment to 5 billion. Okay, iron. That's up a little bit. All right, let's look at free trade agreements. Okay, seniors increasingly affected by poverty. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian opening, if you'll allow me. I'm going to refuse that. Alright, so let's see how we can help the seniors out. We're going to do a different one. It's called a social security COLA, which COLA is short for cost of living adjustment. And let's put 2025 on the end of that. All 
Alright, let's do that again. Okay, so we do have support, but it's more partisan than anything. Um, all right, so let's include, what should we raise this to? So that's basically $901 per month. Let's raise that to nine hundred and let's raise it to nine hundred and thirty five a month. All right, so that has strong support. So it's about 67% approval. Alright, are we going to congratulate him? Alright, neutral, so we'll say yes. Iran, we refuse. One of our drones has detected camouflaged enemy units that we have listed on our military map. We are waiting for your command. All right, so we're finally officially rid of Tom Baden. Uh, cold wave. Let's just send one billion. I think you're doing a good job. And you're hardworking. A good role model for young people. He All right, so All right, so I'm already working towards this. The population affected by the disaster is in a very precarious situation must have lost a lot and even everything all right so i already covered that by sending one billion so that's already taken care of our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer All right, so let's look at our funds. All right, so our treasury reserve is now down to 361 billion. Okay, unemployment went up a little. Um. And that's more than likely because of, oh. Did 
that didn't even pass yet, but we in we increase industrial pollution tax, so that usually will uh, increase unemployment. Incredible! The first price, can you believe it? All our cultural policy. Alright, so we sabotaged an oil well in Saudi Arabia. Let's go to justice and... Stand in accordance with Convention Against Torture. So we'll go ahead and sign this and make sure it's ratified. So this should help our approval rating for human rights. Your politics are on the right track. Uh, uh, we're going to refuse. They don't like us. Um. I'm going to put some agents in Nicaragua since they hate us. So let's make an adjustment in our network. Alright, so Afghanistan has basically been taken care of, so we're going to cut them down by 50%. Let's go to Nicaragua. Alright, so we're going to dismantle terrorist groups, political spying. Um, and that's going to be pretty much it for what we do there. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. Your commitment to defending family values is a model for the whole of humanity. Okay, we sabotaged Iran as well. All right, and our budget for 2025 got approved. All right, so let's check crime. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian... Uh, we're going to refuse. Um, want to start producing more precious metals also. All right, so if we go here and look to see who are the top three. We're nowhere close. So let's start off with a 
two billion dollar investment. No, let's make that three billion dollar investment and in mining for silver. And they don't like us, we're going to refuse. And we're going to refuse. The vote was held and the reform was adopted. You're really peachy keen. Alright. Let's turn down. All right, let's check the inflation rate. All right, so it did drop, um, just not enough. So let's go and start cutting some more aid. Mongolia. Iberia, we're going to cut. Don't really have much interest in some of these countries. So, it makes no sense to give away our money. Without some form of shared interest, uh, Dominican Republic, no, not less than that. Peru, no. Myanmar, Guinea. Serbia, no. And Panama. Wales, no. I'll three All right, so that's going to be it for cutting aid. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. All right, we'll go ahead and approve that. Our scientific cell infiltrated an important research center. According to Now, with the research, hopefully we could steal the plans for the uh, hypersonic missile from Russia. All right. Not gonna listen to these countries complain. All right, so let's go to research. Let's bump up industry and military. One of our drones has detected camouflaged enemy units that we... All 
Alright, so let's check on oil again. Let's see where we are with the man. Alright, so we finally hit a point where consumption is steady now. So sales have gone up and purchase has gone up. The mission was completed last evening, giving rise to a festive atmosphere in the control room. It must be said that the scientific team had every reason to be overjoyed at the complete success of their space program. The program director praised policymakers for having taken the initiative for this long-term scientific endeavor and for having secured sufficient means to guarantee its success. Not concerned with animals. Ah, uh, that's funny. The planet is dying, and you take part of the general pillage. The demonstrators intend. Demonstrations are taking place at this very moment in the country's main cities. All right, confidential information. I have proof that we are producing chemical weapons in secret in Saudi Arabia. Ah, that's an issue. All right, so where is my top agent? We're going to send him to Saudi Arabia. Um, what military presence do we have? We are going to attack this country. We are going to attack this country. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so if they're producing chemical weapons, we really have no, uh, these bases are too small. We know we have 34,000 troops. And how large is Saudi Arabia's military? All right, their inflation is better than ours. Their unemployment is high, but they have a surplus. And they have 225,000 troops. Good morning. I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I want... Um, cereals. No, we're going to refuse this. I'd be happy to... And we're going to end that meeting. All right, we took out Iran's space center. All right, so let's check. All right, our growth dropped significantly.
All right, that inflation dropped some more, so that's good for us. Um, Treasury Reserve is now down at three hundred and thirty-nine billion. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. And thank you for the support, and I will see you soon.